Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts. And today we are reacting to Ralphie Mae gave Matt Rife too many brownies. Let's see what they have to say. Eat edible. I thought I was never going to touch weed ever again. I was on tour. That was weird. We were like already five seconds in. Let's try that again. The Thank first you. time I ever had a weed edible, I thought I was never going to touch weed ever again. I was on tour with, uh, with Ralphie Mae and we were doing... Uh, we were doing his tour bus up and down the West Coast. Yeah. And uh, had never had weed before. And I, he would do it all day, every day. So I was like, well, a little bit wouldn't hurt me. And he was taking uh, Chiba Chews. Fucking oh, yeah. heavy edibles. That's, a, 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 that's an edible. Yes. So he was like, just take one of these. Took one. We're in like Sacramento, I think. And uh, 45 minutes goes by. I literally, my entire body is fucking numb yeah and he's like you okay maddie and i'm like dude i'm fucking freaking out and i was like how much was that he was like 100 milligrams i know now you only need 10 That's to like you feel only, good. you only need you only need five dude, if we're gonna be but real he was doing like four or five of them at a time granted his size you know 100 <laughs> i have a somewhat similar situation that happened to me on it was a date and that's all i'm gonna say to y'all and let me tell you something never again mm -mm, no thank you never again ever 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 it was life l like rattling <laughs> i had never prayed so hard to god to just make something stop like I was willing to like become a nun. <laughs> so Matt, I understand, I overstand actually. Matt, I understand where you're coming from. I don't even need to hear the whole story and I'm traumatized. Are you kidding me? I was 100? doing like four or five of them at a time. Granted his size. You he's know. 600 pounds. Yeah. The, so wait, get me, from, get me from Atlanta to Ralphie. So oddly and, and enough. Don't, and don't leave any steps out, but get me from Atlanta to Ralphie. Oddly enough, Ralphie was before Atlanta. Ralphie was the first person I was ever supposed to do a guest spot for at uh, Hilarities in Cleveland. Great I had club. been doing stand up for like four months. And this was a time when Twitter was like. Fucking great club. Great club. Love Hilarities. that club. I ended up playing. Nick is the fucking best. The coolest That is one guy. of the greatest clubs in all of this country. The crowds are always good. I don't think I've ever had a bad show at Hilarities. I, I don't know what you're doing if you're in Cleveland right now. I don't care who's performing there mm. this weekend. Go see a show at Hilarities. Whoever's there is going to be amazing, and Absolutely. you'll have a great experience. The food's fantastic. Yep. The strip there is great to do stuff before and after. Oh, yeah, yeah, Definitely yeah. Definitely yeah. go check it out. Yeah. Um, I was in stand-up for like four or five months, and this is when Twitter was like pretty new. Like everyone, you could you could get a hold of anybody. So I would just like. How old is Matt? He, I mean, I mean, he's just probably the most beautiful creature <laughs> on the planet. But he seems young, but he's talking about, I mean, how old is he? Do we know? Let me know in the comments how old is Matt. I'm interested. Like, pretty I'm not interested in him. I'm just interested in his age. Just to clarify. Yeah. Go check it out. Yeah. Um, I was in stand up for like four or five months. And this is when Twitter was like pretty new. Like everyone, you could you could get a hold of anybody. So I would just like, I tweeted to Ralphie. And I was like, hey, I see you're going to be in Cleveland on this date or whatever. Can I do a guest spot for you? I heard that's like the thing to do. Yeah. And I hadn't done a guest spot for anybody yet. And he was like, yeah, sure, come through. But I was so young. I was... I think I was still 15 at the time. Oh. And uh, my mom was obviously new to it as well. And she was the one who was going to take me up there. And I remember it was like two months out. And over the course of like the following month, she just kept making me ask him questions. Like, what time do I need to be there? My okay. So he was, he started young. So this now makes more sense. I'm like, was he like, our, like what? Okay. He's probably around the age I think he is. Like in his mid to late 20s, mid, mid to late 20s. Uh, this is also a really good mom, I think, to stand behind your son at 15 and want to do something that is like an adult industry. You know what I mean? Comedy is like an adult, like the clubs, you have to be an adult to be in these most of these clubs. And so he had a mom who stood behind him at 15 and seemingly so it had him asking all the right questions. A month, she just kept making me ask him questions like, what time do I need to be there? Do my parents need to get tickets? Where are they going to be sitting? Like, I was just bombarding him with questions. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, hey, man. I think it's a bit too much. Maybe we do try this another time down the road. I was fucking 
devastated. I was, I, I ran to my room, slammed my door. I was like, you ruined it for me. Ralphie <laughs> Mae hates me. Yeah. Fast forward to maybe a year goes by. I'm 16. He's doing a theater in Youngstown, Ohio. My grandparents live up there. So I was like, hey, can we try it this time? Never performed at a theater before. Mm-hmm. I get there. He pulls up in the bus. My mom's there with me. And uh, theater, I think, held like uh, 750, something like that. Smaller wow, theater, it's but theater nonetheless. That's huge. And uh, before I go on stage, he hands me a $100 bill. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, I, I don't want to pay it. I'm just happy He's to He's like, meet no, go you. get me Coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Like, that's going to make him skinny. Uh, yeah. Another question. Have any of you ever had this liquid death that, that uh, Bert is drinking out of? It's water. But fun fact, I chaperoned a field trip for my daughter in the fall. And a little boy, uh, it was lunchtime, and he pulled out his lunchbox. And he had a liquid death can in his – and this, my daughter's in second grade. He pulled it out, and she, like, all her friends started whispering. And then she comes up to me. She's like, Mommy that kid is drinking grown-up juice and I look over and I'm like what and I, I immediately thought it was a, like a beer can too because I had never seen or heard of liquid death and I looked close and I'm like it's just water girl but the kids were like literally up in arms they were like what are we gonna do he's drinking grown-up juice <laughs> and I've never tried it uh but I just wonder have you guys this says mountain water and how good it is like canned water to me doesn't feel like my vibe but I don't know. Is it good? <laughs> like that's going to make him skinny. Yeah. You know, as soon as I said Coke, I was like, why would I say Coke? I should have said chicken tenders. Yeah. Run up to McDonald's. Yeah. I don't want a penny Real of this quick. back. I'll be off in two hours. I don't want any of the hundred bags. I want to take this to Taco Bell and tell them to <laughs> fucking surprise me. <laughs> Hands me a hundred dollar bill. I'm like, no, I'm like just so thankful for the spot and to meet you or whatever. And he goes, no. Sam Kennison gave me a hundred dollar bill for my first guest spot ever. Aww. So I wanted to return the favor. I want to make sure you do the same thing when you're older in a position to do the same for somebody else. That's sadly nice. when you do that to someone, they're gonna go, "Who the fuck, Sam Kennison?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. Even I had to Google. Get, if I'm being did, honest, yeah. I had to, I had to Google. I was like, "Oh yeah, he's the best." Oh, I love Sam Kennison. He's the funniest. He's such a nice guy. Calm. I love this calm demeanor. <laughs> so go off stage, do like seven minutes. It was so much fun. Um, he fucking crushes, obviously. And then I think like six months later, no, may, maybe closer to a year later, I'm, I'm 17, I'm planning on moving out to LA. He's at some, I forget what other theater he was doing in Ohio, but I, he let me open for him again. And I told him, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move out to LA. And he was like, don't do that. He was like, don't go to LA until like they're asking for you. That's smart. And I didn't That's wait. That's smart. I, I did move out there. And then I booked Wild and Out like six months after moving there. And when I first moved to LA and I was like, couch surfing, he used to. T- so I didn't realize he was on Wild and Out. I was today years old when I learned that one. He had a wildly successful career very early on, and I think that just goes to show like supportive parents can mean the world to to someone who doesn't like try to hold their child back and support them, but try to understand the business as well. Like he clearly has a natural talent. Um, I still think he should have went into modeling, but who am I? wild and out like six months after moving there and when i first moved to la and i was like, couch surfing he used to take me to restaurants for lunch and he'd make me order like six meals and he was like eat one now the rest you can take home with you so he would like <laughs> buy me food for the week basically. i wish he wasn't dead because i have so many like i Aww. love i love it rob is like i in my visual is like hey we're both gonna order six of those. So <laughs> yours is for later yours is yeah. going home you save yours for later and I'm, that's what i'm gonna tell her i'm doing with mine okay just with that <laughs> weird he was the dude. He's he, like, and then he's like, order six meals and yeah. save them later. And he's like, oh, what do we got over here? All right. <laughs> By the time we're done, I have like three meals left. Right. <laughs> and he he's like, one I fucking that I paid for, for myself. Yeah. I love that Bird oh. doesn't have shoes. He was shoes the nicest. On. When I was still in Ohio uh, around Christmas time, he used to let me drive down to Zany's in Nashville because he had a Nashville spot as well. Yeah. And he would always do shows there around Christmas time. He would let me drive down, open for him, get like the, you know, the hundred bucks from the club or whatever. Yeah. And then he would tip me like, an extra five, six hundred dollars, so I could like buy my family Christmas presents and stuff like that. Just the nicest fucking guy, man. He was the nicest guy. He was the nicest. I really miss him. Uh, I also was today years old when I learned that Bert had a podcast of his own called The Bertcast, which seems really fun. So that was a fun like backstory. Y'all know I love a backstory. Um, wasn't as long of a clip about the brownies as I thought it would be, but whatever. Fine by me. 
All right, kids, go and have the day you deserve. Peace.